Do the intro. Welcome back <laughs> to the Hold on, redo that radio. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, nah. Welcome back to the channel. What else am I supposed to say? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? So we're back in Joe's garage. Joe is ready early for race week. I've been ready all week. <laughs> his, what y'all waiting on? His car was ready uh, like two days ago, and it's only Thursday. So we've got the flashlight shootout this weekend, July 27th. What classes are you doing? I'm going to race Outlaw Street and Small Tire, probably. But you're not switching tires. I'm not going to switch tires. I didn't do good on the slicks. Um, my car needs actual suspension changes for the slicks. So it did better on the radials. So I've, I'm for sure going to race Outlaw Street. And then I think I'm just going to try small tire. Might Maybe I can get lucky, go a few rounds. I'm just I'm going to have fun, support Kevin David in the track. So It'll be a good I'm there time. regardless. It'll be a good time. We went out there the other night. The track was actually pretty sticky. The track was good. <laughs> so yeah, and they, they're talking like it's going to be even better for this weekend. So no, yeah. I think it's going to be a good time. Oh, did you make any changes? Um, I have not. I've been working on a tune-up. That's pretty much what I've been doing. My laptop making the tune just awesome. Um, and yeah. Joe's just ready to go. <laughs> I am. I'm ready to go. Like, I got a grill and some hot dogs and my lawn chair. Like, I'm ready. Well, how many hot dogs you got? I got enough. Oh, okay, cool. Joe got some fancy new fasteners on his head, though. I did. You like those? those the Allen Zeus? Like, those are nice. so much nicer. Those are those Zeus Allen fasteners or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joe's got a new bumper on. He's looking bumper, mint. Bumper, and look at this. Like, these are all flat now. Like, this oh, yeah. bumper's way The other nicer. one was kind of like warped. Yeah, it had a little bubble in it. Too much of a two-step in the bumper. <laughs> kind of warped the bumper. <laughs> that's fast people problems. Yeah, that's fast people problems. Orange so, cars, slow people problems. Yeah, but what, what are you putting on that orange But car? we're putting something real fast on it. So, huge shout out to Motion Raceworks. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and Facebook. And they have a YouTube channel, Motion Raceworks. So, they sent me... A parachute kit now my car is going to need one very shortly once we start getting some track times and this is something to have for safety anyways especially because I do have the smallest bear brakes so the guy from bear actually told me I should get a parachute really? yeah he didn't even know how fast my car was he's like shout out Doug cook Doug the man, the man. hooking it up yeah. so we already ate a bunch of gushers <laughs> they were good a little spicy. I don't know what's going on with the <laughs> spiciness, but you know, whatever. I don't even have one in my pocket. We, I stole we little, literally I stole ate them all. I got some over here on the toolbox. <laughs> These are uh, Joe is here. the snack guy, snack I'm king the snack over there. King. I first some thing, ice cream. First thing I did when I opened the box, he steals my snacks. I did. So a huge shout out to Doug. So this is their billet handle, which we think we're going to mount it in the center console where my e-brake handle was because with the bare brakes, I no longer have an e-brake handle. So I think for now, that'll be the best spot. You've got yours on the roll cage, right? I do. Mine's up top. Yeah. So when I get a roll cage, then maybe we'll move it up top. But for now, I think, other spots good. I think it'll be all right on the center console where the e-brake is. So we've got the cable for that. Some pens. So Joe can sign some checks over to me. Thank you. Or sign the L that I'm going to hand him. Oh! <laughs> so, and then, Joe, you want to unwrap that one? Sure. I didn't know I had to work <laughs> in this vlog. Joe's got to work today. So this is, Don't this replaces sense. your crash beam on the rear. So that way you still have a crash support for the rear bumper. Oh, he's making a mess. Oh, I'm making a mess in my garage. <laughs> this will replace the crash beam, which I already have removed on the bumper. But this just goes in the stock location. And then the second piece, while Joe's unpackaging that, this will actually hold the parachute. So this will be a super easy install. <laughs> Don't ever say Once that. we uh, unpackage everything. That? Why? <laughs> we're we're kind of setting ourselves up for failure right now. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nice black coated. So these are all made in the USA by Motion Raceworks, all handmade. This is nice stuff. Ah! Oh, and Joe almost dropped a ridge blade on his foot. Okay. Look at, that. Look at that. Nice powder coated black. Pretty nice. Yeah, so that'll just replace the stock crash beam. Is this my ratchet? No. Yes, I just oh. grabbed it. And then Joe's got the. Probably shouldn't use a razor blade to open this. Probably. Not. Please read all instructions. So this is a super nice Stroud parachute. Joe wants to steal <laughs> stuff off of it because he's missing pieces on his. <laughs> These are super nice. Yeah. Way better than the one I have on my car. I hate the one on my car. FYI. 
FYI. FYI. Hate it. Stroud is the way to go for parachutes. So yeah, we've got the Stroud Pro Mod parachute. This is not a Pro Mod, however, that's a Pro Mod. How? Dude. <laughs> that hurts. I have a razor blade in my hand. <laughs> So, and then this is the second piece. So the cool thing is that you can take this off at any given point because it'll stick out about right under the license plate. That way you don't have to ride around with the parachute if you don't want to. However, uh, you look really freaking cool when you drive around with the parachute. You look cooler on. if you have a parachute. Yeah, even if you're not fast. Even you if you're cool. not fast. David's fast though, he needs a parachute. We're gonna find out. It's 150, right? 150. 150, you need a parachute. In the end. Did you just tell your mile an hour in the eight? <laughs> I have not been 150 in the eight. Oh, so it's literally only two pieces. Boom. And then we've got a little bit of hardware in there. That is nice. That is actually really nice. It's nice. Good job, Doug. That is some quality. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bumper so we can get access to where the stock support crash beam is, which I don't actually have. Um, if you do have one, it's only held on by four bolts. Back here real quick. On today's episode, find Joe Young. Swap out this parachute real fast. Hey, hey, hey. Here, hold on. let me have that camera. You get to work on yours. We're gonna put this one on mine, and David can get this. This is up. the one Joe really wants, and he needs that. I need this. Yeah, mine's all busted. I, I need one. Doug, be. Doug, help me out. <laughs> Call me. So the first thing we gotta do is remove the tail light, which is just three 10 millimeter nuts, and then you'll unhook the harness right there, and then the tail light should just simply pull out. All right, so the tail lights are out. Then you've got a seven millimeter bolt behind the tail lights and then after that we'll start working our way into the fender well and then just kind of work our way around it. just a few little bolts underneath it's actually really simple to take this bumper off so then we've got a seven millimeter bolt up here which i already took out and then followed by just a bunch of clips going down along the side of the fender well in the bumper and then we'll get to the other side and joe has not done anything yet i'm watching your vlog <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you live stream last night? No, I was going to. <laughs> by the time, by the time <laughs> we got back. Uh, anyway. So uh, you may have just witnessed my failed time lapse. <laughs> I was going to time lapse pulling the bumper off, but that didn't go well. So I ended up pulling the wheels off just because it's a lot easier to get to these 7mm bolts right here. And then once you get underneath the car, there's kind of an array of seven millimeter and eight millimeter bolts that go across the bottom. Now here's the cool thing about Motion Raceworks is you get to use the stock bolts and the stock holes for your support beam in the back. However, Dave is not very responsible and threw them away. Well, Did you really throw them away? They're at my house, which is far, so we might as well throw them away. So, so Joe's got a bucket of bolts. <laughs> Joe's got a bucket of bolts. But uh, yeah, that's the cool thing is you could just replace the crash beam in the back with that bar, and then what we'll do is we'll hey, put the bumper David, on and uh, check the hole. Where is your crash beam? Good question. At my house. <laughs> Why wasn't it on the car? He was trying to lose weight. He's uh, trying to be fast. Okay. When you don't make enough power, you gotta lose weight. No, yeah, we gotta find three more. <laughs> All right, so we've got the beam on there. Super nice, fits literally perfect. We've just had to use some makeshift bolts since I don't have the stock ones. So now we're gonna throw the bumper back on and see where we need to drill the hole for that to come through. Oh, sorry. Just, uh, I, I, oh, hey, Joe. Looking proper now, huh? Hey, Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what we're doing here in this video, so need to change shirt. Yeah, that, looks that looks good on you. So I tried to mark the hole as best as possible. So now what we'll do is... Drill the uh, hole. Oh, I thought you drill the hole. Too. Well, you drill the pilot hole. Oh, that way we can okay. tell if it's right or not. I'll drill the big hole. All right, all right. Scale. 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 <laughs> All right, so we made our initial marks with putting the bumper back up. It's kind of hard to reach underneath, so we're going to take a few measurements and find center. That way we can find our pilot hole. And then so Joe said we're going to drill a pilot hole, and then we'll put the bumper back on and see if we can tell if the pilot hole is center or not. And then we will take a hole saw too. But you want to be pretty accurate on this part because drilling a hole in your bumper is... Well, you can't go back from that. It's fuck now. Hello? Is this thing on? How can I tell if it's recording? The thing doesn't work. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so David. What? 
<laughs> like played um what's that to like battleship is where you like guess a1 boom yeah. you missed b2 like <laughs> boom you missed so anyways we're, we're making stuff work here david hold the camera so we uh, tested out a few pilot holes didn't like where they were didn't like where they were uh we may have some constructive criticism here in a little bit <laughs> but, but we're gonna roll with it we're gonna see how it uh, pans out it's a bold move joe it's a bold move I mean, you happy with it? Oh, too late. Too late. There's a scratch. Ooh, that shirt though. That shirt though. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you know what you're doing? Nope. What's your experience? I guess you drilled a hole in a hood before. I did drill a hole in your hood. I mean, do we like it? It's too late. Kind of late for that. New bumpers on order at the moment. Okay. You scratching my coating? Yeah. Hello. All right. It's just over there. Yeah, All right. So we've got the hole drilled. So the way that they do this kit, because the license plate shows completely, you do have to kind of drill on this ridge a little bit. So it does show. You want to show the bar? Go so the, the bar, bar back in. The bar shows a little bit, but so the way that the bar on the inside sits, it makes this sit like right on the ridge. Where's the hole, David? Oh no. That's the hole. Oh, got it. All right. So yeah, you can see the top of the bar looks good. That he actually, that's good. For me. <laughs> Someone's got to. <laughs> so that well, it looks good. I think you're recording that. We found the holes. Thank found the show. holes. <laughs> I'm checking my hat here. I don't know where the logo is. Are you drilling into concrete? No way. Into my floor? What are you doing? No, just look away. <laughs> There's the parachute, that's pretty nice. Into my floor again, really? You put oh. something underneath that. Do I got wood or what? <laughs> All right, so uh, you drilled the metal plate and there's a metal plate that goes in there. You drill it and then you put it in the bag and then you drill the bag and then you bolt it up to the back of their parachute mount which david's doing right now and then we'll be able to put the parachute in we're putting all this on so we can put the cable on and see where we want the cable to go in we, you know you don't want the cable stressed so we wanted to get all this together put the cable on and see where we're going to drill a hole probably somewhere in this vicinity we'll drill a hole and the cable will go through the car into the car and then I mean, we got so much interior we have to pull to run the cable. Gotta go around my nice leather seats. So yeah. Hello. Oh, look at that. We finished it and David wasn't even taking any video. We got a parachute. We got a parachute. So yeah, we got the parachute in there. We Some reason, little... uh, yeah, we don't have a We're missing whoop, the pins, whoop, whoop, so. whoop, And then the flag that says remove before flying. So we got a name. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Can I borrow yours? No, you may not borrow it. Okay because my parachute will deploy. <laughs> so now what are you doing, David? So now we're gonna figure out where the cable's gonna go. Mm -hmm. we're gonna drill a hole. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to run And then this. we're drilling more holes in the car. More holes which and means- It's about bedtime, so we gotta hurry up. Losing more weight. Check out this. Bumper's on, parachute's done. We get, went through the bumper. We got a nice little grommet there. I mean, everything turned out sharp. Look at that. Ooh. It looks good. No, I'm super happy with how that turned out. Look at that. That looks good. Pretty much job well done. Overall, how would you rate the Motion Raceworks kit? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Everything fit really good. I'd say yeah, the mounting and everything. That Ma yeah, everything fit really good. So good quality. Powder coating's nice. Yeah, the powder coating's super Fitment's nice. perfect. Um, all the hardware came with it. Everything went together. No, I'd say it's a good kit. Doug? Job well Get a done. thumbs up so for me, buddy. The only thing we got to do is mount the handle, which we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see you guys but yeah, on. bumpers going back on, lights, pretty much done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that install video of the Motion Raceworks Parachute Mount Kit. You can get yourself yours at motionraceworks.com. They offer a ton of products. For They're coming out with even more products but everything they make is handmade in the USA. It is a very awesome quality product and uh, make sure you guys check out motionraceworks.com. They have stuff for race cars, street cars, 
and uh, everything in between. So make sure you guys check them out. Hit the like button on their Instagram and on their Facebook at Motion Raceworks. But on the next video, we will install the actual billet handle for the parachute mount. We just had a crazy weekend and didn't have time to get to it. And then I'm also waiting on flag come in that has a pin on it. So this is just kind of a makeshift one to hold it for the weekend. But super awesome quality. Huge shout out to Doug and everyone over at MotionRaceworks.com. I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you always comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Bambi39. We'll see you guys on the next one.